Hello friends, I am Arnab Guha from Impeccable Innovations Private Limited and you are watching our YouTube channel Five Pointers, which is a scientific knowledge capture platform. Today's topic is basically in the space of autism and today the main thing what we will see is a case study of how we uh, interact with the parents of an autistic child. So it's going to be very interesting. So stick to this video and click and share this video and subscribe to our channel. So we'll directly go into the slides. Uh, today we have for the presentation and uh, so how it uh, how are the things panning out uh, in this COVID? I hope everyone is uh, sound and safe. Uh, we are still in the second wave of uh, COVID, but definitely uh, this is a long drawn battle which we all have to win. So uh, today we are going to talk on GFCFSF diet for people with autism. Uh, so GFCFSF uh, stands for gluten free, casein free and soya free. So this will be a case study. Uh, disclaimers, uh, our startup, it's a agri health food startup and we manufacture gluten free flowers under the brand of our uh, Spotify and we are connecting with the various stakeholders in the autism community, uh, including the parents of autistic children, even the adults with autism, and also the other major stakeholders like therapists, like doctors, like doing a lot of well, uh, welfare with the autistic community. So with all these stakeholders, we are trying to build a network so that in future, uh, the autistic people uh, get their uh, say so uh, and myself i am a food scientist uh, having worked in the food industry and the biotech industry for around 15 years now uh, earlier i worked with britannia heinz and novozymes and now last five years i am running my own startup impeccable innovations private limited so what is autism autism refers to a broad range of neurodevelopmental disorder characterized by challenges with the social skill repetitive behaviors, speech, and non-verbal communication. So if you see in the slide, you will see a lot of uh, nuances, how a child is behaving. If the child is having with autism, uh, it will be a non-verbal or a hyperactivity or a non-eye contact. Uh, some of them, they have poor speech or they lack the speech. They have strange ob object obsession also, it can be and uh, basically they they don't have the understanding of the social currency uh, of exchange with another person so that's why where they lack okay and we will see uh, how the diet can be a game changer if the other three uh, aspects are in the right place so in this slide what you're seeing uh, what we have shown that a gfcf sf biomedical nutrition can be a game changer today and uh, what we have to avoid and what we have to intake that really matters and diet along with food supplements they really have a great impact but all these things you have to start early you cannot be uh, uh, detecting the autism quite late or not doing anything once you detect the autism in your child so these are very important things but as the slide says that cannot be only the game changer because you need therapy you need environment a protective environment, a environment which makes him thrive and also uh, proper medical uh, facilities for the child. So when all these four aspects are in right place, then you hit the sweet spot, which we are showing in the light green uh, area. So when your child is in this zone, then only you will see an improvement uh, if you start all these interventions quite early. In terms of the medicine, what I mean to say is uh, pharma angle, uh, if it is also related to the gut and also it helps to improve his overall health. So now the question is, is, the, is this uh, data unreal? No, not at all. Uh, because 1.96 million results, if you get in a second, so that is a very interesting uh, data that we have got. So in this, what we see that autism plus GFCFSF diet, if you type in Google, you will see that uh, that definitely people are creating content uh, related to this diet. It may, it will not be just that uh, uh, GFCFSF diet is a fad. Uh, so definitely people are trying. And obviously the, you need more results, you, may, you need more funding 
to create a concrete evidence based uh, uh, solution okay so in today's uh, topic we are going to discuss a case study which we had uh, yesterday and uh, this is a way where we are talking with the parent uh, the father of the child okay so some of the sentences which you will see in this slide is quite uh, uh, conversational uh, sentences this is how we talk to the consumer so what has happened is yesterday a 65 year old person uh, reached out to us and his uh, son who is a 21 year old with autism he is a non verbal and he hardly speaks five seven words before covid he was going to vocational special school father said that i get confused whether my child is autistic or not experts are saying he is autistic i am not very sure because usually the autistic children don't do eye contact in a social interaction but my boy does look at the face while communicating and he communicates with lot of gesture definitely but his iq is not very high it's quite low so this is the background of the uh, autistic uh, person he is a young adult at the age of 21 and his uh, autism was detected around 4 when he was 4 years of age okay now he is 21 so all i quote his words we have stopped wheat products rarely we give him food with wheat as an ingredient majorly he is under rice as staple okay so when a parent is describing us that what type of food diet the person uh, the, uh, his or her child is having usually they will start with the uh, sentence that yes they are maintaining uh, absence of wheat in the child's diet but it is not like it's a strict mandate they are not doing a strict mandate so this is very important as we come so then again i quote we make idli dosa but we have been giving him sevaiya it's a source of maida i know like that he was telling however we are giving semolina which is also a form of wheat which he also knows that this is his sentence we have not stopped se- uh, semolina for him we are not giving him wheat roti and puri and i thought that that is great and uh, we don't eat wheat maida bread that much bread is not staple for us if you see the sentence not that much that means occasionally they do which is not uh, good for the child uh, for the viewers uh, what is vermicelli or sevaiya so there are so many uh, vernacular name of vermicelli if you see in all the different languages of india uh, you will see vermicelli uh, in some area they call it as a semaiya it uh, in somewhere it is called sevaiya it uh, gujarati they call se so there is lot of vernacular terms that people use uh, vermicelli okay so these are the some things and this is usually made from the wheat which we are saying that a uh, child with autism should avoid okay now coming to the uh, gf part is done now we are coming to the other part of the gf cfsf now uh, after questioning he was saying that we don't eat paneer also usually we don't eat that means there is some paneer intake and for the viewers paneer is the uh, casein part of the milk uh, which you get after uh, acidification of the milk uh, the whey protein and the casein protein settles and uh, uh, separates out basically and what he was also saying that we give him diluted buttermilk it's a so, uh, source of dahi for us we south indians we take our buttermilk we don't give soya product to him so these are some of his sentences on which we said that sir it's not about uh, which part of india you are from whether you are a north indian whether you are a south indian where whether you are coming from the maharashtra side or you are coming from the bengal side east side it doesn't matter from where wherever you are coming which part of india you are belonging to the thing is we all have a similar genetic code being an indian being an asian 
need to understand that science or the impact of science is almost same on similar uh, community okay so then have uh, we asked whether he is being given any soya product or not for which he said that we don't give soya product to him so that is good and why soya because uh, soya the protein in soya has a molecular mimicry with the gliadin protein in the wheat gluten okay so that's why uh, as this has a similar molecular mimicry it is again a issue for the autistic person so we are also not giving him tamarind and amchur someone in ayurvedic people said tamarind is not good for him so these are his sentences so we don't know about this aspect whether tamarind and amchur is uh, good for the is okay for the autistic person or not but it will definitely have to do some uh, with respect to some of his pitta and other uh, uh, points of the ayurvedic uh, studies okay so we may be doing a video on this uh, maybe later another thing is uh, what he was saying that i have read a lot of gfcf a uh, lot of us work but concrete evidence is not there but in some people it has helped it seems so these are his sentences so that means this person has definitely gone through some of the literature work over the years but as the literature is not concretely uh saying whether gfcf or gfcf sf diet is really working in all the autistic children or not so therefore the proof is not there and we will come to the aspect that why the proof is not there in the first slide that i have shown that all the four things that's your diet that's your medication that's your therapy that's the environment in which in which the uh, child is living all matters just an example of the environment uh the environment is the pe- even the people within uh, with whom the child is living let's say if a person is uh, uh not able to understand what are the needs of a special child within the same family within the same roof then it is very difficult for the child to have a uh, good environment of living with that person so any uh, so the environment it's not just only the pollution level it's also the human to human contact what he is having is he having a regular routine uh, or not so all these things matters so then uh, then finally after the all these talks then he asked do we have to really stop our buttermilk i said it will be good that if you can stop uh, the buttermilk for some time and see the impact and uh, definitely it is not like uh, uh not having buttermilk will be a, a quite impact on his health okay so this is our things and then we asked some of his grooming progression so what he said that uh, the father said that i play with him i make him do cycling then we asked what is his reflex action how good is his reflex action then he said my child plays shuttle that is badminton with me as a normal person why this is very important to understand is usually uh, the child with autism they may not have that much reflex action like when you throw a ball uh, to a autistic child he may not be able to understand the speed of the ball the trajectory of the ball and the time lapse of the ball so for him it will be very difficult to even coordinate with his both hand to catch a ball okay uh, my own brother is having cerebral palsy he is a spastic quadriplegic from birth due to lack of oxygen his 40% of his motor uh, cells got damaged during the pregnancy uh, during his birth so we uh, he is currently 34 and we know that how uh, how difficult it has been for him even to catch a ball during uh, during his childhood even today also he struggles to really catch a ball but it the way he is catching a ball is quite uh, better as compared to in his younger days where the brain and the hand is not able to coordinate in catching the ball so i know personally as a elder brother that he was having lot of reflex action issues so that's why we asked him that uh, to uh, to this uh, gentleman that uh, does your autistic son is able to catch a ball how is his reflex action and to my surprise he said that his autistic son is able to uh, play the badminton and 
being a sport lover and having played most of the sports <laughs> available in india i can say playing badminton for a person with autism is quite difficult as compared to playing a cricket because the shuttle speed and the drop of the shuttle the trajectory of the shuttle the speed of the shuttle is is quite difficult so what i told him maybe he, he is in the borderline because his main issue is uh, the uh, non verbal thing okay he is not uh, violent he is not too hyperactive so that means maybe his condition is almost like in the uh, borderline so if we can do something if we can change his uh, all these four parameters which i have said in the initial slide then maybe something miracle can happen then we asked him has he ever gone to a normal school then he said no he has gone to only special school there is no level of class there only vocational skill set teachings are there he can write few numbers okay so that means due to uh, uh, due to the lack of the grooming aspect which is not a fault of the parent it's just that it is very difficult to handle a child with autism so unless the parent is fortunate enough to be with a seasoned campaigner who is an autistic expert like there are a lot of autistic centers out there but not all autistic centers in india they do the grooming part well uh, that's the unfortunate thing it has become a total only business like a crash which it should not happen but there are a uh, lot of good schools out there autistic centers out there i'll recommend uh, uh, manav uh, foundation autistic foundation in uh, telangana and uh, definitely uh, their dr suman saraf with uh, whom we have al- already done few videos in our youtube channel uh, we found her to be quite uh, forthright in her thought and uh, she is basically an expert in the uh, therapies she is uh, really uh, helping the child with bima therapy which was also a new uh, therapy to me and uh, definitely you can search her name in google and you will definitely find uh, her contact uh, her institution name is mana uh, madhav autism foundation so we also inquired about his uh, overall health and uh, he said that his son does not have any medical as such health issues like low hemoglobin and all we also discuss that uh, usually the autistic children uh, have uh, leakier gut as compared to a normal so that was his question that does the leaky gut happen to normal people also uh, so the answer is yes uh, it happens to the normal people also but the level of leakiness in the gut is much more in a autistic adult or a child as compared to a non autistic adult or a child okay so what does the leaky gut means is basically from the gut uh, all these peptides uh, of the gluten casein or soya they uh, do, uh, they have a permeability that means from the gut it enters the blood circulation and from the blood it enters or it reaches to the brain uh, and there the peptide fragment of all these three proteins they act like a morphine type of opioid and uh, uh, and the research they have shown that these peptides are uh, having some sort of disturbance in the brain and their behavioral pattern so definitely a uh, lot of funding need to come to this area of autism and the diet and the medication and the therapy so that more concrete evidence that we can gather and to say why all these things are happening and uh, so then we asked that have you checked his recent cbc that is the all the blood count complete blood count or the yeast and mold count or the as well as the heavy metal count for that he said that he has not yet uh, checked recently but uh, can it be done in a normal local lab then we said yes there are various diagnostic uh, like lal path lab they will be able to help you out and uh, but then he said one important thing that getting a blood sample uh, from him will be a herculean task and i i think that uh, yes this is a little bit uh, tricky thing but definitely as we are looking to improve his condition uh, a little bit of uh, a problem uh, or a difficult task need to be accomplished somehow what we also 
were asking him about his sugar intake so for that he said that we are not giving him any type of sweets we don't give chocolates also and he's not fond of chocolate but then what he said very interesting once in a while in 5 or 6 months or so we give a little bit of ice cream or a chocolate we don't give him corn we don't give him oats then i said that's good because the corn protein and the oats protein the corn protein is zine protein and the oats protein is avenin protein they have molecular mimicry with the gluten so the body uh, reacts uh, these protein from corn and oats uh, they they consider it as a gluten type of protein and these having a similar molecular mimicry uh, it is able to permeate the leakiness of the gut of the children with autism or the adult with autism and then uh, as we said that these peptides some of these peptides of this protein uh, which are partially digested uh, peptides they enter the blood stream and then go, uh, they go to the brain and uh, then definitely it uh, impacts the brain function another question was uh, is millet fine for him and uh, we said he said that we have tried millets recently but he became little more anxious then we stopped the millet so definitely there are various patterns of cooking millets uh, if we are able to do a good way of cooking millets then millets is not at all a problem because millet uh, helps in uh, controlling the blood sugar level of any person so because these are low glycemic index uh, crops and uh, you know our ancestors were on millets more than the wheat corn or rice millet was our staple food a uh, few centuries ago but now we have abundant millet in our usual diet uh, we are not intaking millet every day uh, so that is also causing a uh, lot of issues uh, there uh, recently there is a white paper on millet uh, which was published and uh, uh, we'll share a link of that in our description box of this video so you can go through that it has a comprehensive understanding on the millets and where uh, institutes like uh, indian institute of millet research in hyderabad iimr is doing a phenomenal job even icrisat is also doing a great job in some of the millets but uh, the nodal agency for millets in india is iimr which is based in hyderabad then it uh, then the discussion shifted to our product which is spotify the brand name is spotify it is compliant with gfcfsf then he said is it very costly we replied him that yes it is costlier than the usual gluten free multigrain atta that you get in the market but definitely uh, the nutrition level uh, is of our products are are in good level so we don't want to compare against the other brands but definitely we are confident of our nutrition and then he asked if we start using this product within how much time we can see some benefit or how much time it will take to cure him so these were his words then i said that it's not about the diet alone unless you keep the other three parameters which we have talked in the first slide if you don't keep all the four parameters in a proper way then just the diet will not be helpful if as a scientist and as a science person uh, we understand that even if you get a single result out of a thousand of a result then we need to understand why some children got benefited out of gfcfsf diet definitely there is something which is missing in other children as compared to those who have got benefited with the gfcfsf diet you know initially when all this uh, specialized diet came for the autistic children initially it was only gluten uh, elimination from their diet but then slowly the science evolved research evolved then the people in this research area they shifted toward gfcf diet which is eradicate uh, eliminating the milk from the diet the gluten from the diet of this autistic children but then then there was some uh, not corrigible uh, data that we got and then finally what many people uh, are saying that you need to also stop soya so so to answer to his question uh, that if his child starts uh, eating uh, spotify how then we said that unless you do all the things right you may not see a dramatic effect because already he is a uh, adult young adult at the age of 21 usually literature says that if you start an early intervention 
you can see an improvement much quicker in certain uh, cases we have seen in the literature that they are saying that some children have seen the non verbal child improving within a span of even weeks or months but in case when your child is already an adult uh, what you have to have is a patience and see how the improvement is in the next 4 to 6 months because what we have seen in the literature that a molecule like gluten uh, these molecule take around 3 to 4 months to get flushed out from the people like celiac disease or uh, or this autistic people see see these autistic children are not allergic uh, usually they are not allergic to gluten it's just that these particular peptides they pass through the uh through the gut area or the small intestine area into the blood in certain cases and obviously almost like 20% of the autistic community is either gluten intolerant or celiac or having some sort of allergy so when an allergy is triggered in the body it's like an immune response but in certain in certain cases of autistic people allergic reaction is not there it's just that these peptides become a part of the body and then even the immune cells or uh, the macrophages they are not able to eat this foreign particle because this is not part, uh, not the part of a human body it's a diet particle which is uh, getting uh, into the blood and usually uh, there should be some immune response to uh, break down it okay but it is not happening because it becomes a part of the body it becomes a molecular mimicry it becomes a part of the immune response so the immune response is not there so when the immune response is not there maybe it is then becoming a part of the body it is sticking to the brain and all this these are theories as of now because concrete proof is not there but definitely how will the concrete proof will come it's only when the government when big scientists they put in lot of money the government puts lot of money more money and the funding comes into this sector so that we can get a concrete answer otherwise if you want to prove that gfcf or gfcf sf diet is not working then simple you uh, you just do a back calculation and reengineer what you want in the data you can show as a scientist and then publish few literature in some of the journals and then it becomes a gold standard so to confuse the parents in my opinion if you have seen some uh, results out there some literature out there which is saying that gfcf or the gfcf sf diet has worked on the autistic children or an autistic adult that means in certain condition it works what we have to do a research is to find which cohort of autistic people it's working that we don't know that we have to find then what he said the parent uh, whose case study we are talking in this uh, video he said i quote can we have rice plus your spotify data uh, or spotify gluten free flour i said yes uh, you can take rice you can cook your rice uh, if you can do a uh, brown rice that will be even better and if you can give him black rice and red rice because all these have a special phytonutrient and these are rich in fiber and protein that will be even better than white rice if if the child is able to uh, because the usually the autistic adult or a child is quite picky and choosy about the food maybe if he does not like he will not eat up so don't force him but definitely try try the red rice black rice or the brown rice rather than just the plain white rice overall what we said that iipl is the acronym for a company in pickable innovations private limited so iipl said to him to trust on the one part that you have to be strict 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 you have to be absolutely strict in maintaining a gfcf sf diet for your child you cannot have a, a instance that once in a while uh, he's been given uh, the food which has gluten or casein or soya so do away with uh, we have three variants which is spotify begin spotify high protein spotify selki we have another variant also but we don't recommend it for the children because that will not give an major improvement this may also not give a major improvement but definitely we have seen some of the cases some of the consumers uh, who are uh, autistic and they are eating uh, the spotify at least some sort of improvement we are able to see but definitely in our cohort also people or the parents are not able to maintain the gfcf sf diet so sometimes what happens 
uh, the child eats for three, four months, but in between they eat the some little bit of milk product or a soya product, then again, uh, the improvement is not dramatic enough to excite the parent. So we have been uh, like we have been coaching them that uh, see it's not like once in a while you can give or little bit of uh, milk you can keep but you are on a gluten free so that is not going to help when you have to maintain what you have to maintain is mainly the strictness of the GFCF SF diet and then only you will get an improvement provided the other four parameters of medication of the therapies that you're doing even in the lockdown if you can do through online uh, coaching with some of the experts then he said that uh, if you buy 2 to kg then how much how, uh, how many days it will last then I, we said that uh, we have seen that 2 kg per uh, month per person is a good enough uh, so a 6 kg of 2 kg each will last for 3 months so you can visit our website you can buy it from there uh, then we say, then he said that can his evening dinner be Spotify Ada chapatis along with some of the subjects I said good because uh, green leafy vegetables is very important fruits are also very important okay but uh, those sh fruits which are totally too sugary you give him small portion of those fruits uh, because fruits you can get a lot of phytonutrients fibers uh, which are very good for the overall uh, rejuvenation of the cells in the body and definitely you should not eradicate all the fruits uh, just saying that it is too sweet it will make him hyperactive no you have to change your diet pattern because uh, fruits and vegetables are the essence of our life. We should not uh, say no to them. Okay, so these are our uh, products that you see on the screen. Uh, Begins, high protein, selkie, and ethos. It has a different uh, set, uh, different level of nutrition. And uh, so try it out. Uh, maybe it can help you if you are able to uh, maintain the other things in the life of the child in a better way. Okay. Uh, what we can assure as a small startup uh, company is we are with you. So don't worry and uh, just try to be uh, uh, like towards the goal of GFCF SF diet. It may not be that uh, you can go towards GFCF SF diet on day one. It may take 10 months to adhere to a GFCF SF diet, maybe first two months cut down gluten next two months cut down gluten and casein and the third month cut down gluten casein and soya totally and slowly let the child also get uh, acclimatized to a new set of diet new nutritious set of diet so it may take time but definitely don't lose hope we are with you and uh, just be in this journey we have been in this journey for last two years since the time we launched our product but uh, definitely it all depends on the pair and how uh, strong minded they are and uh, we are building this community. I hope that uh, more attention to, in India, especially, we are giving to the parents and even the government can also bring out new reforms. Unless we do something for them, uh, then 1% of our children who are autistic or half a percent of our children who are autistic uh, and they will not be able to contribute to the GDP. So we don't want uh, people not getting the right information, people are not getting the right advice. So definitely a lot of things need to be done. Uh, I think COVID has definitely helped us to understand the value of healthcare and definitely uh, we will try to contribute in this sector. So if you have any questions on the same, do write in the uh, comment box or uh, you can uh, do a WhatsApp to our number of 7760856999 or you can simply write to our email IDs, which is Spotify at the rate impeccableinnovations.com. Thanks, thanks for being there, listening to our talk. And I hope uh, this has been a little bit of enlightening for you. And just maintain the strictness of the diet. You will see some results, definitely. Thank you. Thank you.